All right, y'all. So tonight was Dynamite tonight, October 18th. Uh, the show kicked off with Penta and Jay White. You know, honestly, I thought the match was all right. You know, one thing I got to say about Penta, man, you know, two things, actually. Number one, it's really hard to take him serious as a singles competitor when he loses most of his one-on-one matches. And then I, I'm just not a huge fan when he takes the glove out of his hand and Jay White's literally just looking at him, waiting for him to slap him, and Penta's just taking all the time in the world to take his glove off, you know, throw it, you know, to his manager or whoever, and it's just like, dude, like, you do this all the time, it's like, if I was wrestling him, I would literally take that opportunity and strike him, rather than just wait 30 seconds for you to do your little act for the crowd, but, um, Karshita took on, uh, Emery, uh, Sakura, I know I mispronounced her name now, I apologize, but this was teacher versus student. This was a title eliminator match. Um it was it was it was alright. Um I honestly thought the match was alright. Obviously a car she to retain. Uh, there's really nothing more to say about that. Um we saw Edge, I mean out of Copeland, you know, same one, um, do a backstage little sit down interview with Renee. And uh, I say it was pretty nice, you know, him going through his history with Christian and all that and saying that, you know, once when the time comes, like Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus, like they're going to they're going to turn on you. Now, we saw uh, Kyle Fletcher take on Kenny Omega. And uh, now this was a really good match. You know, um, I'd say this is probably the best, one of the probably the best match on the show. Um, you know, Kyle Fletcher, you know, you could say that he has somewhat a little bit of potential uh, to go solo acts like Aussie opens obviously a, a really good team but like when that time comes you can low-key already see who's gonna most likely be the breakout star um we saw some squash matches tonight you know we saw Wartlow um he made his intentions clear um he's going after MGF he wants MGF rightfully so you know after everything that went down in the past it's only right he goes after Max um and then Lance Archer was also in a, in a squash match tonight. And uh, <clears throat> who knows, you know, they could be building him up, which would be really cool as well. Uh, so it's good to see that. Uh, Jim Ross did an interview with Nick Wayne and his mom. His mom was just like, Nick, what what are you doing, man? And Nick's like, nah, mom, like, shut up, shut up, mom. Like, just, it's just the delivery of the interview was just so funny. Like, I'm dying laughing, man. And then Christian was like, you should have just picked up the phone and, and then Darby and then Sting came out, you know, they attacked Nick Wayne, um, they attacked, uh, you know, Luchasaurus and all that stuff. And uh, obviously we had the main event, we had the Dynamite Dozen Battle Royale, and uh, Juice Robinson obviously won, you know, Jay White, MGF went at it, but uh, it, it was expected. The, the Battle Royale was, it, I mean, there was really not more, you know, it was just really wrestlers who you you everybody knew juice robinson was gonna win like there was no chance in hell none of those had a chance um now granted this wasn't the main segment of the night this was one of the main things that took place on the show obviously you had tony storm and her little um vignette but i want to talk about sting as the last uh thing on this review uh sting as he came out to the ring you know teasing well he did announce pretty much his retirement, not for tonight, but for AEW Revolution 2024. And, you know, one thing about Sting is that's nothing for sure, but at Revolution 2024, this being his last match, um, it's for sure. And it's going to be curious to see who's, who's his opponent's going to be. Uh, you know, they're already setting up Sting to get a little gift from Tony Khan, so you can already tell they are starting this retirement tour and then you got Brian Danielson with his little somewhat retirement tour. Um, but Sting's a legend, man. Sting is an icon. He is one of the very best to ever do it. And uh, regardless of who his opponent is going to be, um, Revolution is shaping up to be someone special for the Stinger, you know? Um, but outside of all that, man, this was a solid episode of, you know, Dynamite. Um, you know, this, this you know, the feud for full, full gear continues as well. So... Hope y'all enjoyed my little review. Continue, you know, to do all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, man.